and just in your gut instantly, you just know based on how they look and present themselves that you're going to dislike them. Keep coping. Okay, let's just <laughs> all relax. Okay. okay. Nobody actually has anything productive to say. Nobody actually disagrees with me on the merits of the case. Always it's what about the Mendo? What about the Mendo? What about it's the it's the judo of the feminist, right? What about the men? I mean, no, what about the guy? It's, it's oh, that's such bullshit. Dude, I've repeatedly the said the, I this entire conversation with Judd. Listen, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I want to repeat this so that you can hear it too. Yeah, okay? sure. Then for everybody who's listening to this, I do not have friends. Yeah, I need your help. JF is trying to kill me. He said that if he sees me again, he's going to kill me. So he dropped me off in the woods. Soy Arto, here we go. Now this is a died in the wall hardcore lefty for you, Andrew. So, mm -hmm. but he's deafened. Undeafened. Thank you. Sorry for the delay. How's it going? Good to see you. Hello. Hey. <coughs> Andrew, I can I already tell by the shape of your beard. I'm not going to like you. I just, I just have this gut feeling that I've just. Insta you know how sometimes you'll meet a person and just in your gut instantly, you just know based on how they look and present themselves that you're going to dislike them. I instantly get those vibes from Welcome you, brother. Welcome to Judd Nation. You mean because I look like a guy who would work on a construction site instead of someone who'd jerk off on the internet? Uh, no, that's not what I mean at okay. all. <laughs> so shut the fuck up and let's get to the point. Uh, the point is that, number one, you remember there's a stream where JF said... This is the quality of the woman who will this have sex with me. Like he meditates you, in garbage. meaning his audience, need to find me a normal 100 IQ person. So what we're talking about here is the quality of woman, meaning his history with women, meaning his first relationship with a woman who was found mentally incompetent. How do we know that his second relationship here is not of a similar nature? We don't. Okay. You keep defending him. You keep holding water for him saying that, okay, his, his wife was totally mentally competent, but this is not even Give to his a, own admission. No, no. When did okay. I ever, All when right. did I ever say that? On Stardust's stream. No, nope, never happened. Several times. Okay. No, it didn't. I'll, Everyone in go fact, watch the VOD. In Stardust fact, is a great streamer. Fact, great let, me, stuff. let me tell you. Okay. Number two. Hang on. Number no, two. Shut up. My turn. Hey, wait, wait, wait. You just wait, wait, dismissed wait, it. Shut up. Right. I get to respond. I get to respond. I just answered your question. Do you have proof to the contrary? Do you have proof okay. that she's low IQ? It's in the VOD. It's a waste of What's time the now. Proof? No, no, no. It's is in it... the VOD. Answer it's my question. Do you have it proof? It's in the Stardust VOD. That's your answer. What's the answer? No, no, wait, wait. Get Sorry, the I think it's wax out of your ears. It's in yeah, Stardust's yeah. VOD. That's, you don't understand what that means. What does that mean? It's in the VOD. Video's What's on to me. Wait, after a Twitch replay, you can wait, go back okay. in. Is there proof? Is, is there okay, proof wait, in the before, VOD? Okay. Andrew is, is there demonstrable you, proof in the VOD that she's that she has a, a low IQ? Your words. No, I never said you, that. I said you defended it. No, you dispute it with me. Okay, so now we're not talking about that. We're talking about when no, JF I need you to answer said, my question. Stop evading my question. You answered already. An you answered you this question stop already. Evading. Stop the evading. First thing you did. Stop evading. The first thing you did, no, shut up. other than insulting my beard, right. was confirm the quote. You confirmed the quote the first thing you did, right? You're muted on my stream, bro. Keep coping. <laughs> okay, let's just. <laughs> Oh, relax. Okay. What the fuck is going on? Now, okay. I need you to answer my question. Can you provide for me? Ask your question again. Can you provide for me any proof that this woman has a low IQ? Irrefutable proof or intention that any it's proof. more than likely? Any, any proof. proof at all. Any proof. Any Not proof. evidence, proof. So the quote that you confirmed when I came on. What? I didn't confirm any quote. What was the quote? This is the quality of a woman who loves sex with me. You need to find me a normal 100 IQ woman. Yeah, that's something that JF said. It could have been tongue in cheek. What are you talking about, dude? It's, okay, let's move on then. This is, is there proof or isn't there? There's not proof, There's obviously. Not proof. You, you want why, irrefutable why you evidence. Answer the fucking question. And dude. I'm talking about preponderance of evidence. Yeah, well, I'm not, gonna, I'm not going okay. to declare this All woman right. to be mentally incompetent when you have no All proof right. that she is. You're just making right. shit up. 
So you're going to defend him on this. Great. Oh, I've got to make sure that there's proof, which you say there isn't any. So uh, great. Okay. Let's okay. you know. Let's great. just conjecture shit. Number two. Well, number two. That? So talking Welcome about uh, you know working construction. Please uh, sometimes back you can have a beer dimension. at work. Rare, rare. I know, I know. But uh, the I feel one like you've thing you've never worked construction a day in your life. The one thing that they will say, the foreman will say, have hey, you, the lawyers have say, you ever worked actual cannot, construction? Why are you evading? Why are I you just, evading my fucking I'm not, point? I'm just asking. I'm just asking. Why you just are you evading like, my point? I don't think you've why ever are you worked evading my point, any Andrew? In your life. Andrew, why are you evading my point? Go ahead. Go ahead with your point. So he'll say, hey, the lawyers say, you, you can't go out to the bar after this. Uh, you got to go home and hang up your coat. Why do you think the lawyer said that? I don't fucking know. I don't even know what you're talking about, dude. <laughs> Break the chain of culpability. So if you go to work and you have a drink and then you go to the bar, anything you do at the bar, that's going to come back on your employer. Very important point. If you are married to this woman and she's like, you're not sure if she's entirely there. She says, I want to go be a survivalist, escape to the wilderness. You don't take her to the wilderness. You take her to another person to break that chain of culpability. Is there, is there a crime? Hey, it's civil. It, it's not necessarily a crime, but this is civil responsibility we're talking about. It's a, so I can't go backpacking like out in the wilderness hey, if I want to if tomorrow? If someone else is responsible for your well-being and they well, see how you doing he, something unwise. Have we established that he's responsible for her well-being? Oh, okay. Answer my I question. Mean, Have you established that he's responsible for her is well-being? He, was, is he married or was he, because she's past tense, according to his French, was she his wife? No, he said they're common law. Oh, wait, wait. Is common law wife or not? I don't think it is. Oh, marriage is fiction if it's common law. I mean, maybe from some legal... I don't even think that common law marriage is seen as the same as legal marriage, no. It depends, doesn't it? Well, I don't know what your, what your cope laughter is about. If you're common law married, uh, are you responsible for the other person? I, I, think, I think this is a really humorous evasion. So let's get to my How is it point. a humorous I asked you a direct question. I Answer my it. fucking I love question. It. If it if is a marriage, common law married, if you are, are married, you, if you are oh, married yeah. under the law, just like statutory rape is rape, common law marriage is marriage. Okay, but are you responsible you should be familiar for the other person? One, right? Are you responsible for the other person if you're common law married? Yes. How in what sense? You, you can get sued for marital neglect, for medical abandonment. Yes. This guy Wait, looks medical like abandonment? Gains yes, that's a thing in my state. Is it in yours? Couldn't you, couldn't you sue anybody for that? No, only for a member of your family. And if you're common law married, she'd be a member of your family, right? So you're saying that you think that because they're common law married, that he can't drop her off at a gas station because she wants to go on a cross-country trip in the wilderness? Welcome I think he can do that. Mission. I don't think that there's a problem with that. I think it's a bad idea because of well, this maybe, but like, potential what crime? liability. What crime is there? What are you hey, talking about? I said it was civil, not criminal. It's just bullshit. Re I don't even know what you're talking okay, about. Okay, okay. Oh, civil weird. liability is bullshit. Okay, well, let's just, let's just yeah, say... Well, I mean, uh, I guess you could be civilly JF. liable for anything. Thanks, JF, for bringing us uh, attention uh, to this you know, really dangerous thing that's happened. Uh, be sure to promote your book in case anyone needs to know. Uh, here's what that looks like. Um, we're we're going to, we're going to celebrate the release of this man's great new literary work. Thanks very much, Chud. I'll Thank see you, you later. Thanks for coming on. <laughs> I think you had the uh, soy, soy atoll pegged, didn't you? Like I said, I just knew some people, you just know the second you see them. That they're going to just be overly emotional, emotionally outraged. Well, but civilly he could be respected. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Civilly he could. And no, I don't have any proof of anything I'm saying, but I think it's true. Just all the fucking same shit, dude. Okay. Nobody actually has anything productive to say. Nobody actually disagrees with me on the merits of the case. Nobody has a fucking word contrary to say. Nobody. Okay, we got uh, Michaelholic. Hello. What up, man? How you doing? Good. How are you? 
Uh, it's all right. It's fucking Saturday, piece of shit. We're having a yeah, great time so... here. We're, we're trying to find someone that can take down Andrew. We're, we're struggling. What have you got for us? Oh, trying to take down BPF? Oh, that's going to be tough. All right, so JF, like... So he he's French Canadian, lives in French in uh, Quebec, right? Well, that, I mean that Very does blow me out, to be honest. Rare Andrew L. He is French Canadian. That instantly that that is an own. I admit I had a French Canadian on my program. I can never apologize enough for that to anybody in Chud Logic's audience or in mine. I am sorry that I had a French Canadian on the program. That is one hundred percent my fault. Yeah, no one's gonna forgive you for that. Sorry, yeah, Andrew. I think that's fair. But anyway, so, so in the case, he said he dropped her off at a gas station first, or did he drop her off in the woods first? He dropped her off at a gas station. A gas station? And then That's what he says. Woods. Yeah. That's what. Okay, no, no, no. So, he didn't say it's in the woods. He said he dropped her off at a gas station, which was near a high transit bridge where there was a lot of trucker traffic so that she could hitch a ride. Jesus Christ. That's, uh, okay, damn. But he dropped her off with, like, supplies at a transit or a gas station that's near transit. I I, but so the thing is, like, on the supplies, like, I don't know. You know what I mean? Jesus she had Christ. a backpack that pro that had something in it, probably. And at least a cell phone at the time, at least according to him. But I don't know what she was equipped with. I couldn't get to the bottom of that. He was kind of vague oh, on it. Okay, so... Don't you think that's a bit, like, uh, that's pr a bit reckless of him, right? Like, that's very... Like taking your girl, like it was, uh, not wife, but girlfriend. I'll call her girlfriend. They have kids though. So that's kind of shitty. No, no, I just feel like if the Did... roles reverse, nobody would care. Like if, if I got into a big fight with my wife or something and left her with the clothes on my back and an empty backpack, I don't think anybody would give a fuck. I think they only care because this is a, you know, a chick and they really hate JF's guts. I just think that if the roles were reversed, you'd be, they'd be like, well, fucking let Andrew go die. Who cares? <laughs> You know what I mean? Do you think Seek or swim, motherfucker. You know what I mean? So you think it's more of a gender thing rather than uh, like making, making JF accountable? Yeah, for nobody would be action. putting any woman up on and saying, how dare you not have done everything that you could to make sure that Andrew was in the best shape he could have been on his way out the door. They don't fucking care. They care about that portion of it because it's JF. I mean, if he took her down... And he dropped her ass off at a uh, you know gas station. They were done with each other. Larry Potato right? One gifted a tier one I, I don't know what to say girl. about that. Sorry, like, just, chip in about just, that? just chip in as well. Don't you think that there's also an angle here? I admit that there's a lot of Jeff hate, but it's also because of a perception of women <laughs> being weaker yeah, and not as able to survive. But, well, I mean, uh, uh, maybe, but doesn't that defeat the whole, like, fucking, I am woman, hear me, roar, egalitarianism, we're all equal, fucking my rights? I mean, yeah, doesn't if that... a feminist is well, saying well, that, sure, kind of but, like, it might not be a feminist. Who really okay. believes that? <laughs> I mean, from my, so from, that, from my ethical perspective, I wouldn't do it, no. But I understand, like, at the same time, he's kind of right when he says... Like, I thought that this was all about egalitarianism and equality and this kind of fucking thing, but I, I drop her off with a fucking backpack and everybody wants to crucify me, but if the roles were reversed, nobody would give a shit, and I think he's probably right. But I, well, it's well, also the thing implied is, that sorry, she... Oh, go ahead. Oh, what okay. I was going to say is it's that's, that's probably true. Okay, I'll, go, I'll just go. I think that's probably correct that the roles were reversed, it would be different, but I think that's not necessarily indicative of the JF thing. It's... Perhaps the woman aspect. Yes, if a feminist was saying that, that'd be hypocritical. But not everyone that is saying that is a feminist. And that's what I wanted to say. What progressive's so not feminist? Not... Aren't they all feminists? Is there well, a single progressive on planet fucking Earth that uh, identifies a progressive who's not feminist? Sure. I mean, probably. I do. Who? Who? Me. I, I, I You're not know. a I feminist. Just, you can, you, well, I just regardless really. of like naming names, you can be a progressive and not identify as a feminist. Yeah. How? Isn't the whole ideology of progressivism, egalitarianism, which is feminism? Well, no, you can promote egalitarianism without being a feminist, can't you? How? You can... That's the premise of feminism. The premise of feminism is, is complete equality with men. Well, it depends what we're talking about, because you've got this kind of online version of feminism, which doesn't necessarily, it's not about egalitarianism. There's a like anti-man aspect within it or something like that. Yeah, well, okay. I think you can add to sure but i think that the premise of is egalitarianism 
and feminism seem to me like they're cut from the same. I don't even know how you could identify as a progressive and not as a fan. I don't even know if that's possible. Just, just saying. I don't mean to go off like on a side. No, it's fine. We don't have to go on a tangent. Weird. I just, I just think that like you know, we don't have to get into it. But I, I think that you can be a progressive without associating with like the individual labels within progressivism. You can just push a more egalitarian perspective without getting off into the identity, the unique identity aspects that come with it. But okay. Yeah, but anyway, I think that help. all the progressive criticisms that are going at JF for that particular portion of it are hypocritical due to that. Would I have done it? No. Right. I wouldn't have dropped her off at a fucking gas station. Right. But I'm lazy, too. I probably would have said, call your fucking dad. Come pick you up. Right? <laughs> but that's just me. A little bit. Yeah. But don't but don't you also believe that like men have a responsibility towards women in order to like try to like better them or like take care of them more so in like especially a setting like this? Well, I think that a woman has a responsibility not to abandon her children to go whoring cross country in a in a, you know, thumb up hitchhiker fucking, you know, blow you to the next stop kind of situation either. Right. I don't think that that's a good thing either. So well, I don't think that, that the premise is fair. either. I don't think that the premise is fair to say, what if the entire thing was her? What if she wanted to leave and she abandoned the household because she didn't want to be there anymore? Why is the assumption that he did something? Okay, is there any is there anything else? I'm sorry, I feel like I took up a lot of speaking time there. Uh, my colleague, is there anything else you want to bring to the table? No, you're fine. Uh, so, do you guys think like she was having a mental breakdown, like a full on fucking psychotic meltdown, and and JF just like went with the flow because he didn't want to be bothered? Well, here's the and pertinent so part, right? Like she's done it before. She's left him before and then came back. So it might no not. Shit. It yeah, no shit. Left him before. Disappeared for a couple of weeks and then came back a couple of weeks later. It's like an ongoing thing that's happened. So, you know, like, what, what do you want me to say? Like, she's left his ass before and then come back to him later. Sounds like a shitty relationship. What the hell? Totally. That's what I'm saying. It just sounds like a fucking weird, bizarre, crazy relationship. It, doesn't, it, it doesn't sound like... I think they have two, but I don't know for sure. I think, I think two. But it doesn't sound like Colonel Mustard with the candlestick. Again, it sounds more like they just have like some weird fucked up ass relationship. Well, at least it's over now. Well, she's probably dead, so that, that kind of sucks. But other than that. Well, I'm not sure if that's true. Is she dead? I, I, I don't, I don't, nobody knows. They don't, they don't but, know yet, right? Yeah, but she's missing right now, right? The, the odds are that she's still alive. Someone being dead is like less likely than them being alive, right? Broadly speaking. I'm getting a lot, I'm getting a lot, a lot of fake news. I'm hearing people saying that uh, she fucking was found in a ditch. I'm, I'm hearing people say she's found on the side of the road. I'm saying she's not dead. You know, I'm hearing all this shit from different people. And I'm like just completely like confused. Well, as there. of the last time I checked, um, she's just a missing person, classified as a missing person at the moment. So unless news has right. broken since I woke up this morning, I think that that's still where it is. Okay, uh, oh, right. We're going to cycle through then, my colleagues. Anything else finally to add? I think I'm good. Nice meeting you guys. Yeah, you, you too, too, man. Cheers. Have a good day. Do. Okay. Um, I'm not sure what the order is here, so I'm just going to do my best to bring in in order. We've got Colton here. Colton. Hello, Mr. Logic, Mr. W. Um... So there are a couple things I want to say, if that's all right. Can you hear me well? Yeah. yeah. All right. So um, first off, I, I feel like the the did it was did was that guy so, JF was he making the point that like more people are comfortable accusing him of murder because he's white, or did I misunderstand something that he said, in the interview? Yeah. So that that this was bizarre. So at this point in the interview, I had said to him, "Well, doesn't it stand a reason if you were, an investigator?" And he knew that the statistics were that in the way that you were trained to investigate are, A, um, <clears throat> chances are if there's a missing persons case or murder or something like this, that it's possible, um, you know, that it's, it's a family member. It's actually more than likely that it's a family member. And he kind of quipped back with the, yet yeah, even if that's true, 
we shouldn't be utilizing a statistical analysis in any case, but should instead just go where the hard evidence is, which I think I agree with in spirit. But on the flip side to it, right, the kind of big problem with it is that I think that they are. I think that they are going to still kind of go immediately to the family because that just kind of stands to reason. But what he was trying to say was, but if we break this down by race, then uh, you would find that like essentially whites are less liable than blacks or something like this. And so they should take that into a statistical account. I think that that was what his point was. Yeah, I, I don't know. That doesn't really make sense. Like, yeah, just because OJ's white doesn't mean he's guilty. Like, I, I don't know. That, that seemed very strange to me. But I, um, no, sorry, I just want to I think for my interpretation, I think it was trying to point out is, you know, well, say that about the blacks and see what happens. Everyone's going to be right. mad. Right. That's what it sounded like to me. But it's like, I mean, you're yeah, not, then, you wouldn't be shy about pointing something like that out if you had to. It's progressives, I think, that he's pointing out as being the issue. Anyway, sorry to interrupt. Oh, I guess that's, okay, yeah. All right, that makes sense. Also, I'm, I'm sorry in advance because my chat's saying that I'm going to, like, say slurs or something. I'm not. I don't know why they have to say that, but I'm just sorry about that. But another thing I want to talk about was the, um, so he dropped her off at a gas station, and he made the point in, in your interview that it was in front of a bunch of, like, security cameras. So wouldn't they be able to find that footage the police if they need to i would assume so that. yeah all right so i feel like that would be the the smoking gun for his guilt or innocence right because he gave it an exact date as well exact date exact time and then he said during the interview that one of the officers actually pursued this line of questioning by saying to him are you saying that we're going to go to this area we're going to find this exact evidence that you claim is there and we're going to see your car on the camera dropping her off at such and such time. And he said to that investigator, yes, this is what he said in the interview anyway. Uh, he said to that investigator, yes. And then the investigator went and checked it out and confirmed that it was true. Oh, okay. So, so they, they, he viewed the footage, the investigator did according to JF. According to JF. Yeah. All right. That's interesting. And, and last thing is, um, so I don't know if you remember me, Mr. Logic. I'm, I made the Edwin video a couple weeks ago. Yes. I, I did think it was you. I did think it might be you. Yeah, uh, I just want to say, this is my, that's my last note. Do you think that he could have gotten Mama JF if she found the Nike pics? <laughs> have a good day, both of you. Thank you. Have a good day. For my... Sorry, that is a... If you don't know, it's it's all good. Okay, I've got... <laughs> <Wrong. laughs> okay, so we've got a couple more people, and I think we've also got, at some point, I think Mama, Mama JF is actually waiting to speak to us. So hopefully we can get some clarity there. Jebtan, Hello. Hello, hello. Do you need my camera on? No, no, no. If you don't want to, it's all good. Let's see. This Are you wearing your red hat? I'm wearing a black one today. Oh, uh, well, then, yeah, leave the camera off, dude. Hey. Okay. Um, fix this shit. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'll lay out where we agree. I agree that we shouldn't just call him a murderer when there's no proof he murdered anybody. I don't know if there's any legal culpability there, but... My angle with my question was mainly like, don't we believe that like as a father, you have a responsibility to not literally drive the mother of your kids away to like help her leave the family? This the kind problem of with this with presupposition it. is that we assume that he did that and that she didn't drive herself out of the household or she didn't want to leave or she wasn't the problem or the issue in the relationship. And that's a hell of an assumption to make. But didn't he say he drove her? To the gas station to drop yeah, her but off. just her him dropping her off doesn't mean that she wasn't the responsible party for the breakup of the relationship to begin with. Just giving her a ride out of town, I don't think, is an indicator that he was at fault for this relationship falling apart one way or the other. Well, I don't know that he, he's at fault for the relationship falling apart. My thing is, from his account of things, he knew what she planned to do, that it was to leave the family indefinitely go to the woods, be a survivalist, all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And he's like, yeah, let me drive you out of the house when we have well, two what, kids. What was and his like, alternative? Well, what was his alternative to lock her in it? No, not to lock her in it, but not to pack her bags for her, to call the family to say, hey, can we talk he about did, this? Well, he did, did he call the family you? and he claims that the family said to let her go. Then I would just say, okay, this family clearly doesn't have the interest of my two children whose mother is about to leave their house. Like, I would get professional help involved i would get a therapist like call like get some resources in the home before well, yeah, saying but all see right the, the whole problem with this presupposition is like 
I would have done more than he did. But what about what about this chick? How do you know that this chick wasn't a massive problem in their life? And he was relieved to finally be done with the relationship. Like, you don't know that. Well, my thing is, if that's the case, then as the person interviewing him, I would expect maybe you to get him to divulge some of that. Like, and, and I did in ask him about my, that. me in a, in a sense of principle, in order for me to think that the father doesn't have the responsibility to do literally everything he possibly can to keep the mother of his kids in the house with his kids. What if she was more of a happily, problem than not? That's the, that's that's what I'm the saying thing. Is she would have to be more of a danger to his kids than her being gone would be. And he didn't state anything like that. I don't think he was even pushed. To I don't think that like he that. wanted to. I don't think that he wants to dive into whatever their personal relationship is because he did state in the interview that, hey, um, my big thing was I didn't want her to basically leave and then talk shit about me or try to come after me or try to divulge personal information about me, go on the internet, say my dick is small, you know, whatever the fuck it is. Obviously, mm -hmm. he cared about that aspect of it, uh, and he he seemed like he didn't want her to leave, at least according to him, but that she was adamant that she wanted to go. And I mean, what do you what do you want me to say? Like you you keep on making, and this is the presupposition he keeps pointing at that kind of frustrates me because if I feel like he's right that all the presupposition just moves towards, but JF, you didn't do enough to keep it together. And from his aspect, he's like, what about this fucking chick? How do you know what I mean? What, no, like I don't why think are you she's pointing at me. I, I don't think she's without fault, but I think when we're pointing at him, we're saying, "Dude, you packed her bags and drove her out." Like that's the mother of your kids. That's your family. We're from, or like he's obviously doesn't believe what you and I believe, but he be agrees in the extent that a man has like an ultimate responsibility over the orderliness and the safety of his home. Okay, and do he's you think driving the mother of Jeff his kids? Tan, this makes no sense. Do you think that men? and women can agree to get a divorce and then I could drive the wife to the courthouse. Like, yeah. I don't. Okay. Because well, the wife what's is the not, distinction? Not, and t the distinction is you can co-parent and you don't know for a fact that she is going to be leaving the family indefinitely. Yeah, but what if we come to an agreement? What if we come to an agreement that she wants to leave and she wants to never come back or have anything to do with me or my kids ever again? Can I drive her to the courthouse to get a divorce then? Or is that off the table? I mean, you can drive her to get a divorce. I think you failed as a father. And if if that's your first go to, you're like, okay, I guess we'll just go to the. Oh, well, like, that's, the, that's another presupposition. We involved. don't know how long this has been going on, but kind of in his favor, if this chick has left him before and then come back later, it stands to reason she would leave him again and then come back. This sounds like a pattern of behavior, right? So we have no I mean, idea. Was the last time I, I this is a part of the interview that I missed. Was the last time another survivalist journey where she was going to indefinitely stay in the woods, or was she That's just leaving she, the house like I'm gonna well, go stay with my sister? No, she you know? she left this under the same circumstances. Apparently. At least according to him, it was the same circumstances. So again, this kind of presupposition though that uh well he should have done more, you don't know that he didn't do everything possible to reconcile. That's the problem, is like Always, it's what about the Mendo? What about the Mendo? What about it's the it's the fucking judo of the feminist, right? What about the men? I mean, no, what about the guy? We are talking about an interview with the guy, so obviously there's some culpability on the woman, but we're talking about what level of culpability the man has. So it's obviously yeah, but you haven't established up. that he has any. If they came to the agreement that she wanted to leave, and he went and dropped her off where she designated she wanted to be dropped off, what is the fucking problem here? I just said what the problem is. I don't think you should be dropping the mother of your kids off. Yeah. indefinite to indefinitely disappear away from your two children and your family but you could take her to the courthouse where then the next day she disappears <laughs> no i just said i don't think that you sh that should be your go-to reaction is just throw the hands up and say whatever it's to get as much professional help into that situation as possible you right, what if they either of them want to have the professional help there's very little you can do she doesn't want the professional to, help you still need to try your How do you father, know they your didn't try? Ultimate responsibility. You, like you have no idea if they tried. This is, or not. But this is my thing: is why do I have no idea if we tried? You just interviewed him, mm -hmm. but it seemed kind of softball. It seemed like we weren't really getting into everything he could have done to keep her from. All right. What about him? What situation? could you have or done was... more? He did. Because you're so. talking he explained to him, it. Like... He said, "My ethical system requires that the state not be involved in my life, and that's her ethical system too." 
We're married, but I only see it in common law marriage because we won't allow the state to get involved. He yeah, claims the state doesn't that have as to be part involved. of his medical system, he doesn't want anything to do with mental illness systems. He doesn't want anything to do with the government whatsoever, and neither does she. That's okay, their well, ethic. So mental illness, then that's where I'm like, okay, that's fine. You can say that is your ethical system, but I can also say my ethical system is to beat my dog, and it's still a moral failing to do so. Like and I would agree. I would agree. It's a moral <laughs> failing from the perspective of a Christian. All of this is a moral failing, but it's consistent within the paradigm of their ethical system for why they behave that way. Okay. Well, and that's. I guess that's where I was trying to come to. Where, like, that's what I. That's kind of what I was trying to get to. Is are we basically just? Was the interview just about whether or not he's culpable for murder? And you were not really caring about the moral failing of the situation and protecting his kids from not having a mom. My job in that interview was to establish three points, which I established all three of them for the consistency around the actual case, not to get into a debate with him about whether or not Christian morals are superior to argumentation ethics. That seems really fucking counterproductive. It's not even just Christian morals. I think at the end of the day, even secular morals see the value in a father doing everything he can to ensure his mother's around. No, his they kids. don't. What do you mean? We, do you think? Do you think American they wouldn't create law incentives? Is... They wouldn't create incentives through no fault divorce if that was the case, and crucify men uh, through that type of process. They gave a shit. They don't give a shit. They don't see any value in it. They pray single moms. They don't give a fuck about intact nuclear families. And you know all of this. I mean, I don't think it's a binary to where if you don't if you don't do everything you can in law to, to reinforce a nuclear family that you then automatically don't see any value in it. I think it's pretty clear throughout most of our culture, our art and our laws that we do see at least some value in parents sticking together. Yeah, for the kids. Christians why, with ethical systems do. Secularists don't give a shit. They've torn those systems down for my entire lifetime and yours combined. Sorry, I, I just, I just I, don't I, see I, that as the case. I want to just ask a question here, yeah. not to draw in on a dog pile or anything, Andrew, but I just want to ask something to you. Sure. Um, do, do you think you'd have a, a, this kind of kind of cool approach to talking about it if it was like someone who you more vehemently disagreed with having a moral failing? Like if it was a trans thing or something, do you think that might like, <laughs> affect you? Yeah, your I would interview them the exact same way. Go and okay. watch my Vosh interview and you'll see. Okay. I've always been consistent about how I interview the left and the right. For the partic this particular case, my job is to ascertain facts about the missing and disappearance of this woman, not to ascertain whatever moral failings he may have had absent there being any type of criminality. That was not the purpose of the interview, and it's absurd to think that I should have made that the purpose of the interview. I mean, it didn't have to be the purpose, but again, I, again, not everything has to be a binary. I think once you've gotten to the point where, okay, we're clearly not getting him to admit anything that he hasn't already talked about. On no, we did get a lot that he hadn't talked about. I mean, not not anything contrary. We got a little bit of further detail, but I would expect like, that we wouldn't get anything contrary if he's telling the truth. Sure, but we didn't really do anything to corroborate whether he's telling the truth. Again, we there wasn't really we much did. Of truth finding. We aspect. did look at the corroboration of him telling the truth. Not you, did we, we not didn't look at? No, we just looked at what he said. The corroboration was to him telling the truth. That's not really correct. I can say there's how is that not corroboration? He was telling the truth. Well, because anyone who's saying any lie is going to corroborate their own lie. What do you mean? You don't talk to the same. Well, how, no, but the evidence, the or, evidence that he presented. If you have no counter evidence, how? Well, what? What? What on earth could you possibly have to say back to it? Again, what I'm saying is he didn't really present any. He he told us of some that may or may not exist. I presented it. He did. He said he dropped her off the 17th on camera. She was and and by the 19th, right? They had seen her at a homeless shelter several hundred miles away and at the Canadian Royal Mounted Police released an actual press release confirming mm -hmm. this, which they did. That is evidence that whether he presents it or not, Right is evidence which is there. What's your counter evidence? Really, what do you mean? My, I'm not again. I'm not saying he's outright a murderer. What I'm saying is we didn't really get anything that new in the way of whether she was killed or not outside of a press release that was already publicly available. Why not then dive in a little bit to, okay, well let's move into maybe your charge to keep your wife and your kids safe. No, I don't you see establish that. you establish a timeline. Okay, that's one. You establish the details of the story to make sure that they're consistent, and some of them were not, by the way, yeah. which I'm surprised none of you fucking guys ever keyed up and picked up on that. 
And then the last thing that you do is you want to make the confirmation as to whether or not there was notifications to external parties that this was happening at that time. All three of those things were confirmed because that's the best way to proceed with evidence, period. There, there's no, going to be no better ways to proceed with an evidence sure. standard than that. Sure. You telling me in the middle of an interview to try to push back on the moral failings of this guy who I'm trying to get me to, to open up about the details of a case is fucking stupid, Jeb Tan. No, I mean, at the I'm not saying in the middle. I'm not saying, OK, and while you while you dig up those phone records for me, um, you're kind of a piece of shit. But I'm saying at the end, OK, now that we've tied up kind of the timeline of this evidence, do you think you had any responsibility to keep her in the house? Do you think you had any responsibility to your kids to at least try to get some mental health professionals involved or to try something different than the shit? And that's all groundwork. At? That's all groundwork that people at, at or after this interview where we're just establishing the keys, the sure. actual keys to the case, they can build up on that. He has other interviews that he's doing post this where they can dive into whatever the perception is of JF's moral failings. That was not the purpose of this interview. Sure. And that's why I came in with the question. That's why I just came in with the question. Do you think that there that there's an issue or a moral issue with him dropping her off? And then you initially railed against it and said, no, why? Why not her? No, that's not, not what happened. What I said is it's consistent within their ethic and I would never do it. Isn't that what actually happened? No, not until like halfway through this. Conversation. Oh, that's when such first, bullshit, dude. I've repeatedly dude, said the, this, this entire this conversation with Chud. I have consistently said I would never do that. Yeah, eye. but when I put it in the chat with Chud and you answered my question directly, all you said was, no, I don't see a problem with that. I, you, need to, you must need to ask the question a different way because, no, I don't see the problem with dropping her Maybe off. Maybe the I'm way the that you teacher. framed the question was a yes or no question. And I answered it yes or no. Is there anything wrong with this guy dropping her off at a gas station? The answer to that question is no. Is there moral failings that he might have within his own family dynamic? The answer to that question is most certainly yes. I, I think there's... More than just like a vague, okay, there's a slight moral failing. He did something kind of bugaboo wrong. I think he put his wife, who he claims to care about, in a dangerous situation by letting her go without trying to get her any mental help. Um, and he put his kids in a dangerous situation because now they may just indefinitely not have a mother anymore. I think that's bigger than just like a vague <laughs> idea of a moral failing if you're Christian. and whatnot. We're not there to establish the details of his potential moral failings. We're there sure. to establish the details of a missing person's case and whether or not his story is consistent. That's sure. what we're there that's, to do. That, I have one hour and that's I'm not going to argue with the guy over his libertarian ethical system and how he runs his fucking household. Sure. And that's what I that's what I came in to clarify was was is there was there no intention to really touch on that more moral okay. side of this? And it seems like there's not. Yeah. So. All right. Jeb well, Tan. I appreciate the spirited back and forth, as always, Jeb Tan. Yes, and, you know, you're always welcome on the crucible, just not without the red hat, bro. OK, no worries. <laughs> I've got a backup one because that one is long gone. But I've got oh, a Miller High Life one that's also. OK, red. I don't care about your hat. Shut up. <laughs> right. Reservoir. <laughs> Reservoir. Hello. Hello. One second. Let me turn my camera on. You can see me. You can hear me. And we're good. Oh, no, dude. You hear another one of them. Yeah, I You're know. just appearing. You're another one. Do you about this? Actually, just like actually, instantly, instantly, dude, I, I I'm aware of this. We've met before. We've done this before. It's OK. That's, uh, let's not do a repeat. Um, So I have a, a few questions because, Andrew, you're a father and I think you talk about fatherhood a lot, right? Yeah. Um. Do you think that JF is a good father? Uh, I, I, my I instinct is to say that he, he, it's, but there's a potential that he could be a good father personally to his children. But mm -hmm. I think that absent a correct family dynamic, nobody's going to be a good father. Yeah, I understand that. I mean, I especially ask this because he seems to be complaining about waking up at like 9 a.m., uh, which I think is far too late for anyone to wake up. If you have any sort of like children, they wake up in the morning, you're going to have to tend to them. Um, and I guess I also think you probably would, I would say it seemed like uh, in your interview, you were saying you knew him, JF, a little bit more than like the average uh, Joe Schmo out there, right? I don't. You no. Know? Oh, okay. All right. I thought that you, nope. uh, there was some associated history. Listen, I'm going to, I'm going to, I want to repeat this so that you can hear it too. Yeah. Okay? Sure. And for everybody who's listening to this, mm -hmm. I do not have friends mm -hmm. online. Mm -hmm. I don't have any. Well, I have one. Okay. 
made by Jim Bob, is a friend of mine who actually became yeah. a, a real IRL friend via the internet. But all people who are on the internet, who are other streamers and things like this, they're yeah. all acquaintances. They are not friends. I, understandable. But I think even outside of like the uh, encompassment of friends, a lot of times I think people, um, especially fathers, you know, will often talk to other fathers about their kids and things that are going on with that. So I was just wondering if you knew anything more about his home life, because it does seem that one, he in his initial uh, video that he put out, he wasn't keeping food in the house. Um, you know, he said that because he wanted to keep his refrigerator clean. Uh, I think he restated that during your interview. Uh, two, he's waking up at 9 p.m. by the RCMP, and that's much too early. But he has kids that seem to be just unattended. Um, and I guess my whole point here, and this isn't like a, you know, a crucifixion or anything like that. Uh, mm -hmm. Rather just to wonder if you think that he is currently you know, doing what would need to be done. Like for you, if you were to lose Rachel to some freak accident, a meteor falls or something like that, I think you would be the caliber of person that would actually step up into that fatherly role and become a provider that would be able to provide yeah. for your kids, both spiritually as well. So as I like get, I get what you're saying, right? but there's like, yeah. there's just literally no possible way for me to know the answer to this okay. question. Yeah. And that's, totally I just, fine. I don't have yeah. any of the pertinent information whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have yeah. no, I have no idea what his personal life is like. We've never had a single okay. conversation about it because he's a guy who comes on my show to debate his yeah. issues. That's that's it. Understandable. That, that's yeah. as much I, as I know, JF. Yeah. No, hundred percent. I'm man, sure like, he went on my show yeah. because he knows that I'm going to give him an unbiased interview, mm, uh, yeah. which is why most people, even on the left, mm. tend to use utilize me for moderation and for interviews yep. because I'm unbiased when I do it, and they all fucking know it. I largely would uh, go ahead and stand with that entirely and totally. I think I, you know, of many of the people I've seen online, I enjoy talking to you. Uh, but yeah, I just feel like it's uh, a little normal to have like those conversations. But if again, if those aren't conversations that you have with anybody, then obviously these questions fall on deaf ears. Well, should we got reservoir? Come on, uh, that's stop that's prattling. Literally, that's literally it. I was yeah, I'm asking, sorry, man. I, I wanted to ask I him. Does more, he? Yeah. I'm asking the guy who comes out and talks about fatherhood all the time. Does he think this guy is a good father? Okay, and I got the answer. I don't fucking know because I don't consider people online human beings, and I don't talk to them as such. So that's it. Yeah, we're good. That's it. I mean, that's basically that's basically yeah. a good summarization. <laughs> hey, that's all I needed. So, hey, you guys okay. take care. Be good. Catch you later. Right, there is someone called Mama JF. In my experience, this could be black porno. So act accordingly, and I'll bring them in. Mama JF, thank you for waiting. Hello. Hello, am I muted? I need your help. JF is trying to kill me. He said that if he sees me again, he's going to kill me. So he dropped me off in the woods. I don't know where to go, and I've stolen a cell phone. Please help me only have a little bit of battery. He tried to uh, make baby with me, but he is vaccinated. I don't want to have vaccinated babies. And also, he is depraved sexually, tried to make me peg him. I don't want to do it. So I need help. Please no, find me no, in the woods. That, Hello? No. Can you hear me? This is not what happened. This is Can you lie. hear me? Shut the fuck I, up, I Andrew, you stupid you fucking you in you the middle, you middle of the woods. That never, that never happened. I never did that to you. You are lying right now. You don't even know. You are talking to a man who tried to kill me. Okay, Mama JF, it's going to be okay. Um, try and contact the local police. And uh, I'm sure you'll be fine, okay? I cannot contact the police. He says I if it, I am ever seen in the public again, he's going to <laughs> catch me, tie me up. He's going to uh, do bad, terrible things to me. He is a very cruel. He's a cruel man, and he's he has he has he has firearms in his house. That's why he does not want to let the police into the house. I need you to come and look for me. I am in the uh, in the Pacific Northwest. Okay. Um, well, look, I'm, I'm sorry. To I feel like you could have tied you. that better with somewhere in like Canada. Okay. Mama you JF. fucking stupid <laughs> f idiot. The, the Canada has a Pacific Northwest. Where the fuck did you have a globe? You okay. fucking stupid hey, idiot. Wait a you second. You're, for three I, hours, thought, hey, hey, I thought you were low, I, I thought you were low IQ. What was I thinking? 
Um, okay, listen. By the way, it's very cold. It's very cold. We're preaching, <laughs> approaching the winter time. I am warming myself. I'm covered in mud and twigs. I'm trying to survive. It's mostly bears and beavers out here. I do not have any shelter. My teeth are mostly worn down from chewing through the stumps and the logs. I'm trying to stop a a, a river to maybe make I can make a dam. <laughs> okay. Um, well, look, we've got to get on with the show. Because, um, see, the, the beavers, they have a way of surviving. They make a mud hut under the water, and they can swim and hide. I am very scared. Okay. Well, listen, Mama Jeff, I'm sorry for your plight, but um, we've got content to do. As good as this is. If I, if I find a way to start the fire, look for the smoke, okay? You need to come and find me, and don't tell JF about this. I am afraid of him. Okay, no problem. We'll do. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Okay, thank you. It's a great show. Um, we've got one more person. Any comments on that you want to share? Uh, what's that? Are you talking to me? Yeah, yeah. Before we get the last person in, yeah, I feel like um, feel like he could have done a bit better with the impression. Maybe work on it a bit better. Wow, you got a very high high standard for this stuff. It seems. 